Hi everyone. Lately, a lot of people talk about um, AI instruments for generating images for their designs, for artworks, and stuff like that. Um, most of the time, they speak about Dali 2 or Mid Journey, but today I want to show you a new instrument that I got my hands on uh, that's Adobe Firefly. It's in beta, uh, but you can already get it and try it, try it yourself. So let's see what's going on there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that like button. So uh, here you see uh, three uh, things that you can do inside the Adobe Firefly. The first thing is a text to image. That's a regular thing that you can do in mid-journey where you put your prompt and uh, generate an image. Also, they have an interesting thing that a lot of designers will like, I'm sure, where you can um, put um, different um, patterns uh, inside the text, like a uh, mask, mask effect in Photoshop. And also there is a recolor vectors. That's when you put your SVG file and you can um, make it in different colors, in different color schemes. Personally, uh, I think the, the most interesting ones are the text to image and text effects. So let's start with the first one. I'm gonna click it and we see the gallery here. We see all things that could be generated and that someone generated already. Um, and you see some of them are in like vector graphic and some of them are like super photorealistic. You see like photographs basically. I mean, this is, uh, what is it, Midtown Manhattan. Uh, these are illustrations. And this is so cool, you know, you can use this in your uh, designs, uh, but non-commercial things, right? So let's try to do something and generate an image. Um, let's put it as a cute uh, pink cat. Let's see what's going on there, all right? So we have to wait. And here, this is the interface of this Adobe Firefly. And you see the first thing you can change is the aspect ratio. So we can use it as a white screen, portrait, or square. So we'll leave it at square right now. Then the content type, now you see none. And uh, here are three content types. Personally, I really like photo and graphic because you can use it to get uh, things like illustrations and photorealistic stuff. Uh, currently, um, when we generated this first prompt, uh, it's already picked art, but we can click on photo and see what's, what's gonna happen. Um, it should be more photorealistic. Of course, it's not gonna be like a photo photo thing, but it's more like a, um, you see, like a uh, photorealistic uh, render probably, right? Uh, it looks pretty cool, especially like this one and this one. Um, and let's click the graphics so we can see the difference. This this would be more like um, illustration thing, you see? Yeah. Uh, it depends on what kind of thing that you want to generate. If you want it to be more photo, you click on the photo reels. If you want it to be more arty, it depends on the on the task. So let's stay with the photo. Then let's look at the styles. Uh, here are pers of, um, popular, then we have movements, themes, techniques, effects, materials, and concepts. Uh, personally, I really like movements. Uh, because here you can pick something, some things like steampunk, uh, cyberpunk, cubism, pop art, you know, fantasy, and it really um, affects the image completely and gives a truly different uh, feel to it. So let's try the fantasy first. So we click fantasy and we click generate. Um, as you can see that I didn't add anything else in the prompt. It's still a cute cat. Cute pink cat, and now you see it's fantasy like, you know. Um, really cool, really cool. You see uh, different lighting, you see uh, it has like more pinkish stuff in it. But now let's try uh, maybe psychedelic. Let's try it. Well, something like this more arty, you know, more fantasy or arty like. But personally, my favorites are steampunk, cyberpunk, and broke. And actually, you can combine them. That's a really cool thing. So let's try the steampunk. Let's generate. Look at this. This is so cool, guys. Um, probably if if you use uh, uh, any um, any program or any app to draw something like this, it will take you several hours, maybe the whole day. But here, it's like several seconds. You know. Uh, let's try cyberpunk. Let's click on it. Look at this. This is so cool. You know. I love it. 
Okay, let's try Cyberpunk or uh, Steampunk and Baroque. And also check out these things here. This is the color and tone. You can choose, for example, a warm tone and lighting. I like to have a dramatic lighting, so let's do this. So we have Steampunk with Baroque and lighting with dramatic lighting and warm tone. Composition will leave it the same, right? Because we can we can uh, use it from a shot from below or from above or maybe uh, wide angle. All right, let's try wide, wide angle. Okay, we'll, we'll click generate and let's see what's gonna happen. Look at this, this is so cool. Look at these guys. I love this one. Here I can rate it that I don't like or I like. I put I like it, and then I can report if I don't. I see that someone's in uh, using, for example, um, someone's piece of art or something like that, or um, I don't like uh, the way it looks. I can report it, or I see that it affects me as a person or something like that. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, also, uh, I can um, put it to sub into the gallery, uh, or I can uh, download it. Yeah, I can click here and download it. And as you see, um, Adobe, it tells you that this image was generated by um, Firefly. And this is really important because uh, it Adobe concerns about the images that were generated by AI. Uh, and it concerns about the authors, the artists, they uh, what they do uh, with their art. Uh, they, they create unique art. And so they put the stamp on the image uh, and that stamp tells that this image was generated by the AI. Uh, this is really important and um, you click continue. You can continue and you wait for it and then the image will be downloaded. Uh, but also if you like it, you can press here the show similar and it will generate similar images. These are pretty cool, right? Especially this one. I like this one. This one is really cool. Let's download it too. All right. Here it is. So uh, when I download it, let's see how it looks. I press enter and uh, this is a temp. You see, it shows that it was done by Adobe Firefly Beta and the image is not for commercial use, All right? Okay, let's see uh, other things that we can do here. Uh, themes, for example, techniques, effects, materials. Well, basically for techniques, it can be painted like oil painting or line drawing, you know, uh, this reminds me of Photoshop effects, so I don't really like them. Also, there are effects, something like isometric, neon, maybe we can put neon here, let's see what, what's going to happen there. And maybe we can use antique photo, you see, we got like neon lighting inside and some antique, let's try it. We have uh, more, you know, like sepia effect and really old kind of uh, photograph you see but it looks really neat look at this guy wow crazy let's download it all right so let's try something else let's do the text effects let's see so these are basically letters that have different effects uh, you can apply to them basically like masking and uh, I'm sure this can be done in any 3D uh, app, for example, like Blender or uh, 3D Max, but here you can get it really fast. Uh, so here you put your text, for example, hello, and let's put it with a capital letter. And now we write a prompt. So we like we, we write about the texture and the colors that we want to get these, uh, these word in. Uh, so for example, I want to use uh, pink and green candies. So I put pink and green candies click generate here you see the interface uh here are the, the sample effects these are already pre-made like templates for example like flowers wires balloons and stuff like that uh look at this oh my god this looks really cool see all the candy stuff uh also we have a text effect fit uh, tight medium and loose uh, that basically means how the, the texture will be applied to the letter uh, and it will be like inside the mask or it will stand out more. But personally, I like medium and loose. It looks because uh, it looks more, you know, uh, more 3D and more interesting. Look at this one. Wow. 
look at this texture this is crazy guys this is so cool and also you can apply different fonts for example this one poplar look at this oh my god this is so crazy i love it and let's try this one i like this font you know it's more bold and look like this also we can change the type how it looks for example change the texture and also we can add background for example we can add this blue background or pink i like pink actually look at this candy wow so nice so nice now we can download it continue and download this image and last but not least let's try recolor the vectors so we click generate we upload our SVG file. I use this illustration of this girl on the beach. And now we should write something about um, the color palette that we want. So for example, I will write it, uh, maybe I'll write about um, maybe toxic, toxic pink and blue and click generate. Uh, let's see what happens yep here it is well personally i don't really like this um, because i think it's easier to do it in photoshop or in illustrator or in figma uh, because you know what colors you're going to use and you understand how you're going to change the colors of it but probably it's going to work uh, good for someone uh, when maybe there will be some uh, I don't know, maybe more simple images, I don't know, but interesting thing too, you know, like to to recolor it and to make it more like a pop-up effect, pop art, I don't know. We use the Firefly, I'm sure it's a really cool thing to use for generating ideas and to make inspiration for yourself and maybe to use those images in your designs and your um, work. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, click that like button below, and in the comments, please write topics that you're interested in that you want to talk about. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.